Hi, my name is Grace Potma, and I'm a former nurse and the current director of product at OpenMRS. I want to share with you that climate change is the biggest health issue of our time and should be a major concern for global goods. We're going to walk through five big problems and five big responses of the OpenMRS community, but these will likely apply to you and your organization as well. Things like the rise of infectious disease in new places, needing to respond faster than ever with often less funding, the fact that we're going to be facing more uh, uh, different climate shocks and crises at a huge scale, the complexity of care in such crises, and finally, the rise of global conflict as well as mass migration. Problem number one, the rise of disease. Just look at how yellow fever transmission is expected to expand over the next 30 years. We are going to see mosquito-borne diseases on the rise in new places, reaching an estimated additional 1 billion people who weren't at risk before. So obviously, early outbreak communication is key, but the current state of many integrations is messy and often custom. So one of the first things we're doing at OpenMRS, uh, thanks to the Fire Squad, a partnership of multiple organizations working together to solve a, a common challenge, we're working on a Fire API, and this is already being used in production in multiple countries, allowing OpenMRS to share data between other systems that also speak this standard uh, uh, terminology. Speaking of which, um, we believe that central terminology management could be a way of harmonizing global goods and making life easier for implementers at scale. So we're working very closely with the OCL Open Concept Lab community to ensure there are interoperability between global goods when it comes to the pain of metadata management at scale. Problem number two, demands might be growing, but not always budgets. How we handle this at OpenMRS is we have a very small core team and we don't go ourselves and implement all over the planet. Instead, we rely on our global OpenMRS community of implementer organizations, ministries, NGOs, vendors, and so on. Since we rely on them, how can we help them to do more with less? Well, in 2020, when the pandemic hit us, these were all examples of patient summaries in OpenMRS systems. What do you notice? They're all pretty different. What this means is that when different teams were trying to build features to respond to the pandemic, they couldn't share these features and this work with one another. We have literally been duplicating software development at scale, even though we were all using the same data model and backend system. So introducing OpenMRS 3, which is a revamped version of OpenMRS, still on the same platform and data model. But what this allows us to do is to work together. Not only does it look nice and modern and is tablet friendly, but more importantly, it is uh, composed of many different mini applications that allow different teams around the world to co uh, cooperate on any given feature or borrow features from each other without needing to worry that different things would be broken by each other. This also means that there are endless content possibilities so that different sites and funders can own their content area without needing to create a new system for that silo. So response number two has been this focus on developer efficiency across organizations. And our O3 squad and visionary organizations on that squad have really been leading the charge and building new features together to really optimize those valuable eight dollars. Did you know that a quarter of the world lacks an early warning system? This means that care providers in these contexts could be surprised by any different climate shock. For example, uh, earlier this year in Northeast India, hospital staff were forced to give chemo uh, on, on the road outside their flooded facility. So decreasing our time to deployment is also a key response. And we're seeing community organization led innovations like a friendly form builder for OpenMRS so that non-technical people can rapidly deploy new content collection, uh, as well as innovations like Mecom Portable and HIS in a box. But patients themselves from day to day are facing both climate shocks and new chronic crises. For example, you can see this footage here uh, in West Africa this year, where a family was sharing that they didn't have enough food for even their animals and are instead using cardboard. So our response here involves making care provision easier. First of all, with a clear history in the medical record, visual alerts, 
uh, such as ones driven by smart care guidelines, and offline user experience options. And I want to call out Sonder Design Collective, who has been fantastic at partnering with OpenMRS community members to coordinate huge strides in OpenMRS UX. Now, mass migration is going to uh, be a big problem as well. For example, one in five people in Bangladesh are going to need to be relocated by 2050 only due to climate change related flooding. And as you can imagine, locally stored data is not very portable. Meanwhile, global conflict is going to be an increasing reality. Many in this space are now talking about the three C's cycle of climate change, COVID and conflict, things that drive each other to increase. Many implementers are starting to consider cloud where storage was previously local, like this implementation quoted here that realized during some bombings, their server data from all their years of a key project could have been lost. But cloud storage itself comes with different and additional security risks for global teams to consider. In fact, at the time of editing this slide, there were over three, uh, 30 million known attacks just uh, today. You can see this for yourself at the live known cyber threat map uh, at this address. What this means is that the security of data in global goods is more important than ever before. So I want to call out the OpenMRS security group where multi-organizational members are helping us to address vulnerability findings, make patches, like for the earlier uh, Log4j vulnerability that came out and affected the whole industry earlier this year. But more resources are needed. Cybersecurity remains an underfunded and underspecified priority in global digital health. And that needs to change as we turn to cloud for a variety of reasons. In summary, climate change is the biggest health issue of our time and should be a major concern for all of us working in the global goods space. Would love to hear from you if you have thoughts, questions, or partnership ideas. Thank you so much.